Dangerous fire weather has returned to San Diego, leaving more than 14,000 people in the dark tonight. A red flag warning is in effect for parts of the county through tomorrow night, and we have team coverage on the elevated fire risk. We begin with Fox 5's Liberty Zabala live in Ramona with the latest on conditions there. Liberty. Good evening, Kathleen. Well, the strongest winds are expected tonight into tomorrow, and that's why SDG and &E has shut off power to many customers as a precaution. Right now, there are currently more than 14,000 customers without power. There's always a go bag in my car um, with my important legal papers and insurance papers, and three days worth of clothes, as is recommended. When the Santa Ana winds pick up, Colleen Baker knows what to do. Colleen's power was shut off during last week's red flag warning. She is hoping it doesn't happen this time around. I have a lot of candles and a lot of flashlights or lanterns and spend a lot of time reading on my Kindle and making sure that I have all my backup battery packs um, charged beforehand. SDG &E set up resource centers in areas with power shutoffs to provide water, Wi Fi, charging stations, snacks, and ice for residents who need it. I got two blocks of ice one from my indoor freezer and one from my uh, chest freezer. SDG &E says it can potentially shut off power to tens of thousands of customers in the inland valleys and the mountain areas during this red flag warning. I've lived here basically my whole life, so I've made it through the two fires. So I've been evacuated twice, so kind of know what to expect, but it, it is scary, to, just the fear of the unknown. And because of these possible outages, schools in the Alpine Unified, the Valley Center Palma Unified, as well as the U Warner Unified School Districts will also be closed tomorrow. For now, live here in Ramona, Liberty Zabala, Fox 5 News. If the pandemic wasn't enough, you add this layer of the fire weather and things get really complicated for schools. Brad Wills is keeping a close eye on it, and he joins us now with the latest on the wind. Check out some of the wind gusts. This is as of 9 o'clock. Hellhole Canyon had a 81 mile an hour wind gust black big black mountain 72 mile an hour wind gust now hellhole canyons just east of valley center you can see palomar mountain 65 miles an hour mount laguna at 43 the winds are strong they're going to be strong tonight through tomorrow morning you can see up over the mountains those winds gusting at 29 miles an hour and julian now we're seeing some of the pinks and some of the reds that's where you're getting some of the stronger gusts now pushing into some of the foothill areas red flag warning high wind warning that's all in effect and low humidity we'll talk more about that and some big surf along the coastline coming up kathleen back over to you